I'm in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I'm walking amongst homes that were built in the 1600s, the 1700s, some in the 1800s. It's like going back in time. In fact, this entire area of Portsmouth is a museum. The corner store, the store has been here for a couple hundred years. It's a museum. Hmm. Yeah, this is crazy, look at this. All of this has been here for several hundred years. Look at all these houses. Nothing has changed. They haven't even paved the road. I like that. A couple more of the houses. This particular house was built in 1695. That's something over 300 years ago. Yeah, it's got a padlock, can't go inside. But we can look in the window, so why don't we do that? Hmm, I don't see too much. Amazing, isn't it? Well, the sun's uh, behind me, so this is in the shade. But this building was built in 1766 and was a tavern. Let's see if we can see inside. Yeah. I believe they have kept it the same condition as it was in 1700s. Even the glass looks really old. Let's take another look in here. Wow. 1766 that is old this is the museum it was built in 1813 can't really see too well I know the Sun is not in our favor at the moment yeah this was built in 1790 looks like it's a gift shop now Seventeen ninety. That is so old. Hmm. Well, it says this is a private residence. That's not gotta be easy. This is the Piscataqua River. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Piscataqua. Right here on the edge of Portsmouth. That is Maine on the other side of it. We'll be going there tomorrow. That's the Memorial Bridge. It's a drawbridge. Just want to get a quick glimpse here. It's really beautiful. And um, Portsmouth City Center is this direction. I'm going to head there now. This is the Warner House, built in 1718. It's on a National Register, as you can well imagine. I'm going to head down Daniel Street. Some nice architecture here. Very nice. All these 300 year old buildings and the sound of of the modern world kind of ruins it sort of I still I'm still enjoying it but. you can really see the history here all these very very old buildings this is a small city of about 22,000 people but it is filled with tourists, history buffs during the day. They need a street light here clearly because they have to have police officers direct traffic because it gets so bad here. But wow, what a sight. 
you can picture in your head, dirt road and these buildings a lot newer. All right, Congress Street. I mean, look at it. It's a Thursday around uh, noon. Look how many people here on the streets. It's just a small town. Gets a lot of tourism though. That's the uh, famed North Church. Built in the early 1800s, if I recall, off the top of my head. This is the John Paul Jones house, built in 1758. It's one of many stately old homes in this area. I mean, directly across the street are some more beautiful old homes. They've all been here since, uh, yeah, mid 1700s. Huh. Beautiful old houses, aren't they? Incredible. Everywhere you walk here, you see these old, old homes. A lot of them are repurposed as businesses. I mean, you just walk down the streets here, and this is all you see. I'm just walking down a side street. These are residential. People live here. And these very, very old homes. I wonder what the upkeep's like. You can't help but be curious about that. The plumbing, <laughs> air conditioning, heating. Living in a home this old. As old as these, anyway. I would be really curious to see the inside of some of these. Look at that one. It's really beautiful. I like that a lot. Yeah, this is somebody's house. Three stories. Huh. Both this house and this house are all from the uh, late 1700s. Amazing, huh? This home was built in the late 1700s. The architecture of that era, really noticeable. It's kind of shaped like a barn, isn't it? All right, I'm driving through downtown Portsmouth again, heading back to the hotel. Just a quick stop here. We were here only one day. I had read that uh, Portsmouth was like going back in time. Wanted to see it for myself. It didn't disappoint. It was pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, in the morning we are heading to Portland, Maine. So be looking for that video.